Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and as you will have seen by the title, today is part one of my eyeshadow palette collection. I don't know how many parts there are going to be, it just really depends how it goes. So I'm going to crack right on in. And the first one is the Melt Recently Deceased palette. Now, look at that. So I won't swatch it or anything because I am aware it is, it is, was limited edition and you can't get hold of it anymore. But this baby is going nowhere. I love it. And, and then we have this classic horror palette from LA Splash. Firstly, look at that artwork. Look at the artwork. It is absolutely stunning. And then here are the shades. I've only used this once and I'm just desperate to use it some more so it definitely won't be going anywhere and I will more than likely be bringing this out around Halloween time. And then we have Moondust by Urban Decay. This palette is just so beautiful. Those shades, it doesn't do them justice. Let me just show you obviously the green and the blue and galaxy i did tell myself i wasn't going to swatch but look at them they are stunning absolutely stunning so yes this is going nowhere either so for those of you thinking this is going to be a ruthless declutter, that is not what this is. It is mainly my eyeshadow palette collection and anything that I don't reach for um, or has gone bad will be decluttered. Everything that's not gone bad, you know, things that I just don't use anymore, I have plenty of family and friends they're going to. So yes, they all have good homes to go to. Anyways. So the next palette is Spanglish by Alomar and these are the shades, absolutely beautiful. I really, really enjoyed playing with this palette, especially, I just found that the mattes were so easy to blend, the shimmers are beautiful. I do really want to play with this some more, so yes, going nowhere. I would like to try more from Alomar, um, but I don't really hear people talking about them anymore. So I don't know whether they've not brought anything out for a while or I've missed it. If you know, let me know. And then next up is the Glam Light Veggie Lovers Pizza Slice. Oh, I love this so much. Look at that. If you know me, then you know why i love this so much look at those greens they're absolutely stunning and this palette performs so so well i am so desperate to try more from glam light it's beautiful absolutely beautiful so yes i definitely need to dig this out and play some more right and then we have profusion and i have the mixed metals peach palette and she looks like this. Um, I don't reach for it at all. Um, I know my daughter has her eye on it, so that is where it will be going. So, first declutter. And next up we have Lucky Bunny Cosmetics, the Envy palette. Oh my word, I am in love with this palette. Just look at that. I love every look I've created using this palette. I am desperate to collect more from them. So I believe there are three other palettes out that I don't have and I desperately want. So, uh, but oh my God, this green shimmer, let me show you. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Oh, I love it so much. 
so yes this palette is going nowhere beautiful palette moving on we have bella pierre and it's the 12 color pro jewel eye palette and these are the shades i so I know that they perform beautifully, however I really just don't reach for this palette. I don't find it inspiring at all really. Um, so yes, that one's going to go. And then next up is Naki's Beauty, it's the musical palette. And this is what she looks like. I have only played with this a couple of times. I love the bright colours, absolutely beautiful. See, I do definitely need to play with this some more. So, yes. And look at the packaging, it's so cute. So, the next palette is Chasing Butterflies from Makeup by Tammy Cosmetics. I love the front, I do love butterflies. And this is what she looks like, absolutely beautiful. I, I think it's such a beautifully curated colour story. I really, really enjoy this and I need to dig this out some more because the quality was just beautiful. The colours are beautiful. Definitely need to uh, play with that some more. And then the last one in this pile is from Charlie Betty Beauty. And Charlie Betty Beauty is a UK indie brand. This is the Earth palette. Um, look at these little clasps. And then she opens up and this is the colour story. Oh, it is beautiful. All of those green shades. The quality is high-end quality. Absolutely beautiful do that you can see the top of my curtains um <laughs> absolutely beautiful really high quality the packaging is really sturdy i cannot praise this palette enough it's so beautiful and another one that needs to come out and play a lot more but yes charlie betty beauty the earth palette i highly recommend let's get to the next pile Okay, so moving on, I have the Joyous Ice Fish from Tammy Tanuka, Sigil Inspired. And firstly, look at that little fish. And also, look how tiny it is. Isn't that just the cutest? And then inside, she looks like this. Oh, just so beautiful. So, so beautiful. And I really loved playing with this. These eyeshadows are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I desperately want the Chinchilla palette um, to go along with this, but I really love this. And I love this little tiny size. They're so easy to store and it's just so cute. How can you not love that? Yes, obviously that's staying. And then next up I have the Style London Devil eyeshadow palette and she looks like this now this performs beautifully and the eye looks i did looked beautiful um but i just don't reach for it i think where it's just a, a monochromatic red and orange i i don't know what it is but i don't reach for it so this is going to be going in the declutter pile so next up we have Odin's Eye and this is the Alva 2 Mini Forest Palette. Look at the packaging, beautiful. And then the inside this one, oh look how stunning that is. Absolutely beautiful. And these shades are so special. I've used them separately and kind of together and oh, absolutely beautiful. It is such good quality. I desperately want more from Odin's Eye now. I do have my eye on one of the other palettes, maybe two or more, um, but I'm so excited to see what else um, Odin's Eye brings out. But yes, the mini forest palette is going nowhere. Okay, and next up is Kimchi Chic, the You Make Me Happy palette. And this is what she looks like. Um, I've only played with it once so far 
and I found the mattes were really nice um, but the shimmers were a bit meh um, I'm going to give it another go um, but yeah if I have the same issues that I had playing with it the first time then this will be decluttered so for now this one is on probation until I've played with her a little bit more yes and the next palette is the Umoja palette from OPV Beauty look at the artwork firstly I'm a sucker for artwork on palettes and then this is what she looks like on the inside um, I really do need to play with her some more um, I think what I'm always put off by is when I first open it I just see browns um, but yeah I have created some beautiful looks with this palette so I really really do need to uh, to dig her out some more these shadows are just beautiful let me just show you So, there's this one, and then this one, look at those shimmers, they are stunning, absolutely stunning, yes I'm quite, I'm quite annoyed at myself looking at this, I haven't played with it in such a long time. So yes, she is definitely not going anywhere and definitely needs to be dug out for some more playtime. So what I may do is for Karma Chameleon on Saturdays, I may make it so that the eyeshadow palette I use every week is one from the older collection. But yes, love that palette. And next up is, I believe, another American indie brand that I have recently discovered. This is Gourmand Girls and the Sugar Shop palette. And just look at that. Absolutely beautiful. It makes me want donuts. But how cute is that? We're not going to look at the donuts because I need to lose weight. <laughs> um, and this is what she looks like on the inside. I have very recently played with this palette um, and filmed with it. I don't know if the video is up yet or coming soon. If it's not up already it will be coming soon but just from first impressions um, I am so excited to play more with this palette and uh, yeah Gourmand Girls, Gourmand Girls, they're definitely a brand I've got my eye on. Um, but this beautiful colour story and then next up is Zoeva and it is the matte spectrum and this is what she looks like there's some really cool grungy colors down here however I I open it see kind of there and I just don't play with it at all I don't reach for it so yes this one is going to have to go in the declutter pile right Moving on, so next up is a UK indie brand, and this is La Belle, and it's the Magnifique palette, and she looks like this, absolutely beautiful, really amazing quality eyeshadows, definitely need to play with this some more, this is a running theme throughout my uh, palette collection, I'm sure you will hear me say that so many times, um, yes I definitely need to play more with uh, the Magnifique palette especially see I'm really drawn to like this section here oh beautiful so yes definitely we'll be digging that out again amazing quality so yes and then moving on <laughs> so here is my only peachy queen palette this is the Viper Queen which I believe is discontinued but it's snake print on and one of our royal pythons is called viper so I could not resist this and then when you look at the inside absolutely stunning I love this so much but I'm not going to uh, 
keep on about it because I don't think you can get hold of it anymore. Very sadly, I think they definitely should not have discontinued that. Right. So next up is another UK indie brand and it is Dramatique Boutique and the No More Nudes palette. I was so fortunate to win the whole collection in a giveaway. And this here is what she looks like. Absolutely beautiful. I was so impressed with the quality of the mattes, the shimmers and the pressed glitters are stunning. I mean, just look at the shades. I haven't used stripper yet, but you can't even see. Let me try and move it around. You can't see the shift in that. It's got a really beautiful teal shift in it. Oh, beautiful. Yes, I was really, really impressed with the quality of these eyeshadows. And so, yeah, beautiful. And not only do you have the normal nudes on the front, but you have the back too. Okay, and next up is another UK indie brand, and that is Heather Lou Cosmetics, and this is the Ella palette. I have, if I can get into it, because it's huge. I've only played with this once, um, but I really had a great time playing with it. I do love a big palette. I don't think there's much in the way of dupes here, if any. I, I love it. It's beautiful. I originally got it, well, partly because of the colour story and the fact that it's a UK indie brand, but also my beautiful little niece, Ella. I couldn't resist. So, yes, um, definitely need to play with this one some more. So, sticking with the theme. Absolutely gorgeous. The only thing I don't like is the plastic packaging. It's the same with the kimchi chic one. I'm not a fan of the plastic packaging, but hey-ho. And the next up is yet another UK indie brand. Now, this palette, oh my word, it is amazing. I've created one of my favourite looks with it. And this is the Jolie Beauty Sorceress palette. Now, just look at that. How stunning is that so you've got your purples and then you've got these really amazing greys which go beautifully with the purples and then you've got these awesome greens down here i just this is beautiful absolutely beautiful so there's just so many options for looks i'm really inspired by this palette and yeah definitely will be going nowhere and i love the outer packaging too so this next palette is super special to me because it is the first palette that I reviewed on my channel and this is from Colt Candy Cosmetics and it's the Playhouse palette. I love the artwork so much and these are the shades. When I've played with it I've really enjoyed it. It is not the best quality out of the uh, indie brand shadows that I have but it's definitely not bad. I really enjoy playing with it. And of course, this was the first palette that I reviewed on my channel. It was just, so it's very special. And sticking with Colt Candy Cosmetics, I have here the Heavenly Urchins. Again, absolutely beautiful artwork. I, I love it. And then these are the shades here. Again, not the best quality, but not bad, and I still enjoy it. So especially these two shades here. Let me just swatch those. So these are the two shades that I really love this palette for. I don't know if... Uh, if the camera's going to do them any justice, actually. But they are beautiful. So, yes, the Heavenly Urchins palette is going nowhere. So, moving on, we have Nomad Cosmetics, and this is the Cartagena Mag Magica? Magica? I don't know how you pronounce it. Look at that packaging. Absolutely beautiful. You even got a little snake down there. 
And for those of you who don't know, I keep snakes and I love them. This is beautiful. And then you have the inside. Just look at that. You've got all the beautiful imprints in the shadows themselves. You've got the same pattern from the front, like going around the mirror. These perform amazingly. It's Nomad's formula has to be one of my absolute favorite formulas. They're just amazing. And just look, I don't even know what else to say apart from wow. I just love this so much and I desperately want to collect all of Nomad's palettes. I do love oranges, yellows and pinks. And then sticking with Nomad we have the Iceland Fire and Ice palette and again absolutely stunning. So you've got the ice on the outside there and you've got your little, little gnome there, gnome elf. You got him there. <laughs> and then on the inside, you've got the fire. So the fire on the inside and the ice on the outside. And then there is this color story. I don't know what else to say apart from it. This palette could have been made for me. It's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The tones of some of these shades are just, oh, let me just watch that one and that one just look at those they are so beautiful so so beautiful every look I have created using this palette has just been beautiful I have had so much fun playing with this palette I would say it's in my in my top five favorite palettes of all time it is just so so beautiful and the same amazing quality as the obviously the last palette amazing absolutely beautiful again you have the imprints in the shadows I hate ruining them but I just love playing with this palette so much. So yes, the Iceland Fire and Ice palette is 100% staying. Right, next up is Cara Beauty and this one is the Beach Days. And uh, look, she's got a swimsuit on and a beach ball. It's cute. And this is the colour story. Absolutely gorgeous. I loved playing with this. Um, the quality of the mats was amazing. You've got the one shimmer up here, which is beautiful. The glitters, these two in particular, are amazing. This one is slightly more difficult to work with, um, but only because they're bigger chunks. But it is so beautiful. It's so worth that extra little bit of effort. So yeah, I love this so much. It is not going anywhere. I am on a mission to collect as many Cara Beauty palettes as I possibly can. And sticking with Cara Beauty is the Before the Party palette. And this was very kindly gifted to me from my beautiful friend and sister, Erica. Thank you, I love you. And I love this palette. It is actually what I have on my eyes today. And this is what she looks like. Absolutely stunning. This palette is such a stiff palette. From what I have tried so far, there are absolutely no dupes within this palette. I've worked with some of these deeper shades and absolutely stunning. They, I had no issues with packing on the mats, blending them out. Um, they build up on top of each other beautifully. The, the shimmers that I tried, um, free tequila and shake it up they were beautiful absolutely beautiful and yeah this is what I have on my eyes and as you can see the look turned out really well well I think so um so yes I am so happy to have this it is beautiful 
And now we move on to September Rose and the first palette, which might actually surprise some of you that how much I love this palette. And this is the Brew palette. And she looks like this. Now, at first glance, you might think, hmm, but Steph doesn't do neutrals. But if you really look at the, the tones, they're, they're all slightly off and I love it. This is such a beautiful palette. This is my kind of neutral palette. Absolutely gorgeous. There's some really grungy colours. It's beautiful. I have again loved every look that I've created using this. The shimmers are amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to show you just because I can. <laughs> So we have, there are only the two shimmers in here, but look at those. There are no words. They are so beautiful. I'm covering myself in eyeshadow here. So yes, the Brew palette, I highly recommend, beautiful. And September Rose is a UK indie brand and also from September Rose, I have the Slush palette, which the artwork again is beautiful. And this is what she looks like. And well, I don't think I really need to explain why I love this one so much. But not only do you have all these amazing colours, but if you look at them in rows, you've got a monochromatic look if you want it. So you can mix and match for your look. Um, but yeah, if you're not feeling very inspired or you know you don't have time to really think about what look you're gonna do, you've easily got a monochromatic look in each line. So yes, absolutely gorgeous. Again, the same amazing quality eyeshadows. So if anyone ever asks me what rainbow palette is best to get, this is the one I always point people in the direction of just because it's so easy to use. They're pigmented, they blend well. It's just the perfect rainbow palette. So yes, again, not going anywhere. We definitely have a running theme of not going anywhere and I really do need to use this some more. So moving on to another indie brand, this is Beauty Bakery and this is the Breakfast in Bed palette. Again, this is a really nice, easy palette to use. I love the quality of the eyeshadows. It's a really nice, muted kind of movie. Oh, it's just beautiful. It's really nice for when I want to kind of, I say neutral or natural look. I don't really do that, but this is probably one of the closest I'll get to, to a neutral look, but this palette is beautiful I really really enjoy it and also from Beauty Bakery I have the do it for the gram eyeshadow palette I do love the packaging with the gram crackers on beautiful and this is the inside um, here it says hashtag got milf okay <laughs> I hadn't actually noticed that before um, this is the palette I have some difficulties with this one and I just never ever reach for it so I have this color story in so many other palettes um, with for me an easier formula to work with so this one will be joining the declutter pile um, yeah sadly because I absolutely love the packaging so that one is in the declutter pile moving on it is Miali Beauty who very sadly have closed down now and the first one I have here is actually the most recent one I got I got it in the closing down sale it may still be on I'm not sure when this uh, video goes live whether or not they will have sold out of these palettes but they're down to 12 pounds something um, and this is the Yasmin palette just look at that artwork it's so beautiful and um, Miali Beauty is, was a UK indie brand and this is the Yasmin palette 
I can highly recommend this. It is a palette I love playing with. The quality is amazing. It's so beautiful and I'm so, so sad that Miali Beauty is no more because they're just beautiful. And also from Miali Beauty, I will just kind of briefly go... I will just kind of briefly go over this one, um, but I do need to mention it because it is part of my collection and I do really love it. But also from Miali Beauty is the Ayubia and let's just look at that. Absolutely stunning. I love this palette so much. But yes, I am going to move on because you cannot get a hold of that one anymore because that one definitely is sold out. So, moving on to another one of my favourite brands. This is Altitude Cosmetics and this is the first palette, which is the Colour Splash. So again, beautiful artwork and this is the... <laughs> and this is what she looks like on the inside. Absolutely stunning. Such a beautiful palette. And again, if you're stuck for ideas and you really need to get ready in a hurry if you look at the lines going down you've got an easy monochromatic ready-made look <laughs> so yes there is that too and the quality of these eyeshadows is amazing another one of my favorite formulas i love it so much uh, these shimmers are stunning, absolutely stunning. I've actually created quite a, quite a few looks with this palette and I've loved every single one. So definitely recommend this. And also from Artitude Cosmetics is the VIP exclusive palette. And she looks like this. Again, the same amazing quality as the Colour Splash palette. So it definitely fits the VIP theme. It is beautiful. These colours are just stunning. And this shimmer here is everything. Mogul. Let me show you. I need to show you this. I'm hoping you'll be able to see the shift. Yes, I think you can. Look at that. This is one of my favourite shades in my whole collection. I absolutely love it. All of the other shimmers perform beautifully also. It's just that that shade is amazing. And it is, and it's unique to my collection, which uh, with the amount I've got is quite unusual. It is beautiful. So yes, obviously not going anywhere. So next up we have Ace Beauté and this is the Oceanic palette. Beautiful packaging, but look at that beautiful colour story. This is absolutely stunning. These eyeshadows are a dream to work with. The shimmers are absolutely stunning. I love that you've got the range, so you've got your kind of brighter green, um, your tealy colours, your really grungy, your deeper. You've got everything you need for a blue-green look in this one palette and I love her so, so much. It's beautiful. I fell in love with this palette from the first time I saw it and fell in love all over again with the first time I played with her. Stunning. And also from Ace Beauté is the Nostalgia palette. I have only used her once. I love how these flowers, I don't know if you can see it, like shiny. So this, so the majority is kind of this matte look and then you've got the shiny flowers. It's kind of, you can feel that they're slightly raised but not obnoxiously raised. And this is what she looks like. Another absolutely stunning palette, beautiful colour story. I've only played with her once, but I love her and she will be going nowhere. So yeah, there's a, a hell of a lot that I really need to dig out some more. So I might have to do a regular palette from the past kind of thing. I don't know. 
and then next up we've got Makeup Obsession and the first palette I have from them is LA Dreams now this is beautiful I absolutely love pink and green together it's one of my favorite combinations and this just has so many different tones of like the the purples and pinks and you've got your deep green your kind of mid-tone and then the slightly lighter green it's just beautiful I really enjoy playing with this and I love the makeup obsession formula so much in my opinion it is far better than the revolution formula but again just my opinion and also from Makeup Obsession, I have the Ruddy Daydream palette. This was a gift from my daughter and stepson and I love it. They couldn't have done a better job. And this is the colour story. Absolutely beautiful. I do have to show you this silver. This is, I would say, the best silver in my whole collection. Let me just get that. So... look at that it is absolutely stunning beautiful so yeah this palette would be worth it even just for that one shade it's stunning i have created a ton of looks with this palette on and off camera i love it so much it's such a beautiful palette and next up is another UK indie brand and this is VE Cosmetics and the Green Witch palette. I am in love with this packaging. Look at that. It's just magical. I love it. And the uh, inside, look at that colour story. Beautiful. I was so impressed with these eyeshadows both the mattes and the shimmers and this color story is just really well thought out you've got your depth there you've got you've got everything that you need for a really beautiful look i love it and i am so excited to try more from v cosmetics i do have another palette from v cosmetics it is in my box of shame um so you will be seeing that kind of at the end of going through all of my palettes I will show those because obviously they're in my collection so this one the green witch is going nowhere amazing quality highly recommend and then next up we have island play cosmetics and this is the soca origin palette and she looks why can't I open it And she looks like this, and I love this. Look at all the bright colours. I love the idea of uh, the split pans like this. I think it looks beautiful. And then you've got the names up here, which is, again, lovely. It's so good to see because instead of having that, that sheet with the names printed on, you know, the plastic sheet that nine times out of ten you lose, um, this is beautiful and I do have their new palette, the Reggae Mar palette, on its way to me. So I'm so excited to try that. Um, yes, not going anywhere. I love it. My only gripe is the plastic packaging, but that's it really. <laughs> and then moving on, we have Violet Voss and this is the Flamingo palette. This was uh, a gift from my mum. I love this palette so much. Just the packaging on its own would have me sold. And then on the inside, this is what she looks like. These, so this colour story is beautiful. I have had so much fun playing with this palette and I really, really need to dig her out more, play with some more again with the running theme beautiful just look at these shades i think this shade here surf let me show you 
I really fell in love with this shade. Let me do it on the back of my hand. So look at that. That is such a beautiful shimmer. It just, it doesn't do it justice looking at it in the pan, but absolutely gorgeous and it looks so beautiful on the eyes. I'm covered in sparkle now. <laughs> I don't mind. So yes, obviously this one is going nowhere because I love it. Okay, so next up is Sample Beauty. This is the Equalizer palette. Absolutely amazing palette. This was a gift from my daughter who knows me very well and I love playing with this. The quality again is just amazing. I absolutely love it. And I also love how they've got the corresponding one. So you've got rubber, duck, tequila, lime, and then the middle row goes down. So you've got copper, tea, uh, touch base. And you've got things like hocus pocus, thunder, lightning. It's just, it's little things like that. The quirky little things that get me. I, I love it. And it's beautiful palette. So many options for, for looks. It's beautiful. And next up is P. Louise. This is the Worldy palette. And I know a lot of people don't like this big chunky kind of packaging, but I love it. And I love, you can see the pink sand in there? That in itself could amuse me for hours. It is beautiful. And this is the Colour Story absolutely stunning i again i had so much fun playing with this um it was katie from makeup for lost time that made me really really want to try this brand and i'm not sorry i did this is beautiful i just love the there's nearly a whole row of like these greens and yellows it's just it's stunning. I love it and 100% staying and I'm putting it down because I can't hold it for long because it's heavy and I'm weak <laughs> at the moment. So looking at the Kimchi Chic palette again, the You Make Me Happy, if I am completely honest with myself, I'm not going to pick this up again. I was, I was just, I was disappointed with, I found the shimmers to be just lacklustre and I'm not going to pick this up again so I am going to pop this in the declutter pile. Okay and now moving on I have these two little elf bite size palettes and the quality is just amazing. This one I 100% want to keep I love it um this so that's the hot jalapeno one and this one is the mint to be um this one is going to go in the declutter pile and um, so it's so rare that I reach for just a, a kind of four pan eyeshadow a little quad um but if I'm going to this is the one that I would pick up so the elf mint to be palette is in the declutter in the declutter, in the declutter pile. And then next up is Huda Beauty. Now this one is the Amethyst Obsessions. And here is the colour story. I really enjoy this little palette. It's not the most amazing formula. It's definitely not all it's kind of cracked up to be, I don't think. That's my personal opinion. But I think it is such a cute little palette and it doesn't take up much room to store. I do like playing with it, especially alongside the next one, um, which is also from Huda Beauty, and this is the Pink Neon. And this is what she looks like. And I think the two combined, let me... So the two combined, I think you can get some really beautiful looks out of. Um, I do tend to kind of view the two of them as like one palette so I'm definitely going to be holding on to these because I love them and next up is another sample beauty palette I 
I've not done a very good job of keeping the brands together. Well, I think I have actually, haven't I? Most of them I've kept together. However, this is another sample beauty palette. This is the Immensity palette. And this is the Color Story. This is the same amazing quality as the Equalizer palette. And I think it's just kind of complementary. And I love that this is all matte. So for I've got a load of like single shimmers. And so yeah, this is brilliant to bring in um, with those, but also I've created a completely all matte look just with this palette and it came out beautiful. So the Immensity palette is going nowhere. And then next up we have Anastasia Beverly Hills and I, I used to have more in my collection. So if you are not new around here, you'll probably notice some missing and they were decluttered to my daughter and so yes so I have two here and the first is the Riviera palette and I, I love the packaging and that it's like it's material so it is kind of like the the coastal area like on yachts that's what it makes me think of and I love it and then this is the colour story. Um, the mattes are pretty good. They're not the best. The shimmers, however, are what make this palette special and what stop me decluttering it. So, again, staying. Mm -hmm. And the other Anastasia Beverly Hills palette is the Alyssa Edwards palette. And here is why just look at those shades i love this blue this blue is beautiful it is possibly my favorite shade in the whole of this palette i love it um i love that you've got the white and the black so you can lighten or deepen any look i love this so much it is not going anywhere all right So next up is Nabla, and I have two palettes from Nabla. The first is the Cutie palette, the Wild Berry. I love the packaging on this, it's stunning. And I absolutely love this little color story. The shades are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And this Alchemy 2.0, it is more of a topper shade. Um, it is stunning, absolutely stunning and it completely amps up a look if you say put one of the uh one of the shimmers or one of the mattes down and you just pop this on top it completely changes it and takes it to another level so i absolutely love this little palette and uh, i would definitely not be parting with her the uh, the soul blooming palette however whilst i love the packaging and it's a beautiful little colour story, but it's too, I don't know if it's too muted or too neutral, too wishy-washy. I'm not sure what it is, but I have used this once and I never reach for it. Um, so it's a shame to keep it in my collection. I think I, I keep it for this one shade here, this uh, flowery, but... I'm realistically not going to pick it up just for that one shade so I am going to very sadly part ways with Soul Blooming however I do know somebody who will love this so she will definitely have a good home to go to and next up is 5050 makeup I do have another one in my box of shame and this one is the Aphrodite 2.0 I believe um, doesn't say it on there and this is the color story and yes in one sense there's a lot of neutrals but they're I really like the tones of the shades that are in here um this shade dolphin is just stunning it is so beautiful and uh, I really love the formula absolutely gorgeous I love these kind of pink tones up around here beautiful palette and uh the formula is everything it's cracked up to be beautiful and like I said I do have the summer palette 
from 5050 in my box of shame um so you will be seeing a video using her at some point soon but i definitely want more from this brand definitely so next up is lois cosmetics one of my absolutely favorite brands and the first part here is the rose metal look at that packaging how stunning is that packaging and this is the color story now this is what you would call the perfect wedding palette um i just think it's beautiful and if i were to say go in my collection pick out a neutral palette this is definitely what i would class as a neutral palette for me um, I love this and I love the looks I've created with it and the formula from Lois Cosmetics is so much better than a lot of my high-end palettes um, so the quality of the eyeshadows just blew me away absolutely stunning it was the next palette I got the first out of the two and having tried the formula I had to have this one so She's staying and also Lois Cosmetics does have a new palette um, out that is currently sold out but is being restocked and that is the Meet Me in the Underworld palette and she will be mine. I can promise you that. And the other palette I have from Lois Cosmetics is the Gone Rogue palette. I've used this numerous times and just look at her. So I do love me glitter and this one is stunning. But for those of you who are not a fan of glitters, there is only the one in this £12 palette. Um, it is just stunning. I, I can highly, highly recommend this palette to uh, everyone. <laughs> it is the perfect palette. Obviously not if all you wear browns, um, but if you like your colour, this is definitely a palette that you need. Definitely. I would not be without this palette. If anything happened to this or if I'd used it all up, I would have to repurchase this because it is one of my top five palettes. Right, so next up we have Coloured Rain and I have two palettes from Coloured Rain. The first is the Queen of Hearts and she looks like this. And again, this is another for me very neutral palette but I, I love the quality more than anything of these uh, it's just stunning and if I'm doing anyone else's makeup this would be a real go-to I love it the quality is amazing I've worn it a few times myself and really enjoyed it the this shade here noble woman is beautiful so yeah this uh this palette's going nowhere and the other coloured rain palette and the final palette for part one of my collection and declutter is the very cute mini palette i love the outer packaging it is so stunning and then inside this is what she looks like another absolutely gorgeous mini curated color story i love her she's going nowhere so yes that is the end of part one and part two will be coming at some point soon so uh, if you've liked this video please give it a like thumbs up it really helps me out if you are new around here then I hope you'll consider sticking around I do a lot of really colorful makeup looks I'm a huge supporter of indie brands and uh, yeah so if that sounds like something you'd be interested in then please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next time I upload and also so you don't miss the next part of my eyeshadow palette collection so thank you so much for joining me today I hope you're all having a great day great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing I hope you're taking care of yourselves I will see you again very very soon bye